Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the PFN least corrupt blue screen of death error on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to simply check your memory. Now press the Windows button then simply type Windows Memory Diagnostic or even better Memory Diagnostic and then click on the app result. Now the next move is to click on restart now and check for problems and then wait until Windows will run some tests and diagnose your computer. This should help you to check any errors and then fix them as soon as possible. Now once you did that you can also uninstall the problematic drivers because usually this error is related to problematic drivers. So right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options and afterwards make sure in this window to expand universal serial bus controllers then right click on your problematic device and select the uninstall device option. Now once again click on uninstall to start the procedure and then you can restart your computer and you will see that Windows will attempt to automatically reinstall the drivers for you. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on another useful solution is to update Windows. Press the Windows button then click on the settings icon. Afterwards click on Windows update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the blue check for update button. Windows will now scan for any available updates and it will prompt you to install them afterwards. So then, after you're finished with the procedure, make sure to restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to update your drivers. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now, in here in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand the Problematic Driver section. Then right-click on your Problematic Driver and select the Update Driver option. Now click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to locate the best available drivers on your PC. Afterwards, you can just restart your computer and check if the problem is fixed. And lastly, another useful solution is to run an SFC and DISM scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Just wait it out and then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.